What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Radcast solo run. Last time we did a battle against Koga. This time it's going to be Sabrina, the psychic type master. And there's not much else to say. She is a. Well, in yellow, she actually tends to use like really fast psychic types like Abra and Cadabra and Alakazam. Ha ha, there's a trend there. And they're really easy. I probably could beat them all with a body slam. I don't know about Alakazam. It might take two. It might take a quick attack as well. Who knows? We'll see, guys. We'll see. Um, I just got back from watching, uh, if you guys know Paperbat VG and Slap Fox Hound, they made this song called Take a Stand, which <laughs> I've never heard that sound before. Nope. Um, but yeah, it was actually pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm not much of a rap person. And the reason for that is because, um, I don't know if it's like rap or hip hop. I don't know what the difference is, to be very honest. But, um, my reasoning for not liking rap too much is because most rap, or a lot of it in general, tends to be kind of negative, and that's my opinion on it. I don't like negative songs. I, I don't like to have a negative output on things. But this one, it's more positive. It's optimistic. It leads to a bright future. It basically says about YouTubers who get down because they've never gotten, like, really famous or stuff like that. And I'm not really intending to get famous and whatnot, but, like... I felt that way because, you know, I've been doing it for a year and a half, and I'm not famous. I got my fans. I got... My fans turned to my friends, pretty much, because I've pretty much talked to everyone that's ever, you know, commented on my channel, or at least if they wanted to talk to me, I've always been able to add them on Skype, and I tend to talk to a lot of them, and, you know, it's gone down a little bit since that happened. I'm not like, I don't get like the 10 comments every video anymore, I, I never really got that either. And I'm not saying I expected it, but you know, it's always nice to um, hope. And I'll admit, I was down a little bit, but you know, the song, it's very nice, and I, I'm not down anymore about this stuff, I got over it. And um, I'm just very happy, um, it put me in a good mood, because it makes you think that like, back to the reason why someone would start a hobby such as this in the first place. Because it's a hobby, someone likes to do it. And it was very fun, so that's my message on it. I'll leave that link to the song in the description. And, uh, yeah, my message is really, I mean, just don't get down about it. When you do a hobby like this, you can't expect to be famous. Um... You just gotta be happy with what you got. But if you really want to hit it big, you gotta try. You, you can't just half-ass some videos and expect to be made famous. Kind of like I did. I didn't expect to be made famous, but I didn't necessarily put in my best effort in all my videos, which I do try to do now, or at least I'm trying with Final Fantasy. And I'm starting to care a lot more about Rack of Solo right now, because it's starting to become a little more fun for me. But, I've realized that you really shouldn't care about what other people think, and, um, something like that. I don't know if that really ties into what I was talking about, but the reason I would say something like that is because that's one thing that kind of got me, is, although I didn't care exactly what people had to say, I, um, wish people would say things more. So, I don't know. It just put me in a very good mood, and... Even though I have school, I can tell you right now, you can expect a video probably every day to every other day from now on for a very long while. Um, whether it is stuff like League of Legends, which I intend to bring up again with my friends. I think that's a fun competitive game, but I'm not going to do it with my, unless it's with my friends, because the community in that game, although it's a fun game, can be rather crap in terms of how plight they are, we'll at least leave it there, so I'm going to do that with my friends. And then after Final Fantasy, which by the way I'm at Elfheim, so I was about halfway through to where I was before, I'm going to try to get back to that tomorrow, and I don't mean, I mean like back to where I am, or at least get further, I don't mean I'm going to I'm gonna put up a video of it tomorrow. I'm hoping at the latest though that Final Fantasy can go back up this weekend, I'll put episode 13 up this weekend, I really hope. In fact, I'll make that a goal. I'll, I will make it a goal to put episode 13 up 
Final Fantasy up by this weekend. And yeah, next episode, because that was Sabrina, will be... Blaine? Yeah, Blaine. And I just find it funny that they gave you Psywave because you got Psychic here, and Psywave is a much, much worse move. Also, if you want to talk to me, other than Skype, I am on this forum called Bailey Beach, and I was talking about my friend Dark a couple days ago about it, because he um, got me to go on it, and I'm on it a little bit now, so, you know, if you ever want to talk, or I don't know about talking, but, you know, typical forum stuff, because I don't think there's a chat box, then, yeah, I can be there, I some Twitter, and I'll probably leave some of that stuff in the description, we'll see. And I just saved, so I hope this comes out good. Alright, I'll see you guys later.